Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tank for O, and today we'll be looking at the top 5 Minecraft automatic farms. With each new addition to the game and each new update that comes around, players from all over the Minecraft community get immediately to work to see how they can exploit these new features to make all sorts of crazy new automatic farms to make survival Minecraft that tad bit easier. From farms for blocks to farms for items, there's a whole plethora to consider. And so, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Number 5. An Iron Farm To begin, let's take a look at one of Minecraft's oldest automatic farms out there, the Iron Farm. With some designs being almost a decade old by now, iron farms have gone through quite a few iterations, some bad and some better. What was once a huge endeavor with frankly, well, many doors, is now much more simple and easy to understand. But what makes these farms truly amazing is that ever since the village and pillage update, they have also made pumpkin and melon farms obsolete, since you can now trade 4 iron or less for an emerald with villagers, making them more than ideal for trading. Number 4. A Wood Farm Although this should technically be called a log farm, these farms are epic. There are lots of designs out there for all sorts of different woods that you would ever need. Then again, Il Mango has made a design that can harvest every single type of wood, except for dark oak. But hey, if you really need dark oak, there's a farm for that too! Wood farms are amazing not only because wood and wood planks are some of the most common building blocks that you can easily run out of, but because they can actually also be used as fuel for a super smelter. Number 3. Guardian slash Pigman Farms In Joint Third is a Guardian and a Zombie Pigman Farm. Guardian Farms are really the only way to get Sea Lanterns and Dark Prismarine Blocks, one of my personal favorite blocks in the games. But they also act as some pretty neat XP farms. On the other hand, you have Zombie Pigman Farms, a great way to get yourself some gold and XP. However, there are changes coming to pigment farms in the new 1.16 update, so we'll just have to wait and see how those changes pan out. Number 2. A Witch Farm From gunpowder and redstone to glowstone and sticks, witches have one of the biggest loot tables for any mob in the game, and they drop some pretty nifty things too. Once you manage to sort through the variety of junk like empty bottles, sugars, and spider eyes, you're left with some essential items that would otherwise require hours of grinding. Oh yeah, and they drop potions too, though I personally count those as junk. Number 1. A Hostile Mob Farm Whether it be gunpowder that you're after or some strings to turn into wool, having a hostile mob farm is always a simple and easy way to get a whole range of loot for whatever your needs might be. You can get yourself some arrows and bones and even loot from a witch. But most importantly, you can get yourself some nice, triple A, rotten flesh. Something everyone needs to fill up their inventory. And that's about it for this top 5 video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you really loved it. Make sure to join our Discord server if you'd like to hang out and have a good time, and support me on Patreon if you want to support me to make more videos just like these. Thank you all very much for watching, and as always, keep on building.